Colorado, the nation's COVID emergency comes to an end. We are looking at what's changed and what is next for all of us. Michael Spencer joins me now live from Larimer Square downtown. And Michael, we wanted to look closer at Colorado's recovery and what better place to talk about that than downtown. And Karen, that's because if it weren't raining tonight, this stretch of Larimer Square would be filled with people. Outdoor dining is something that didn't used to happen pre-COVID, but now has kind of become a staple for restaurants like Rioja, which we are right out in front of, and for patrons as well. Of course, Denver decided to keep this stretch of road closed, allowing restaurants to expand and really allowing them to survive during the height of the pandemic. Now, the end of the national health emergency means the federal government will no longer buy up tests or vaccine doses to give out for free. However, vaccines will still be free for most people through 2024, just you have to make sure you go through your insurance to get it. Now, a lot of efforts to track COVID by the federal government will also be scaled back. Some popular changes, however, will remain. 